my channel if you're new here hi my name is kind of subscribe i would love to have you here today is wednesday september 15th it's about 1 45 and in about two hours i have my stress test my echo stress test which i'm nervous about but not as nervous because i've been exercising about 20 to 30 minutes two to three times a week so i feel more prepared this morning i did a lot of little small work as you can see and i got my to-do list done for the day which i was not expecting but my tasks were done very efficiently so we are good so i just want to come in and introduce the vlog because I do have to leave in oh my gosh in like an hour yeah to leave in an hour because it's far away so I'm just going to chill and rest for the next hour and I will see you when I'm on the way to my stress test it's me, but I'm guessing that it's different when I'm looking from your point of view from your point of view oh. I said baby you've got things to do and that's all right for me but just know that when you come back home in the same place I will be Thursday and I did not update you yesterday because 
I was so tired. I came home and I just, I was so tired. But the stress test was normal, which was so good. So I think for me, my issues were probably exacerbated from like lack of nutrition because last time I did the stress test, I did not have good nutrition at all. This time I had good nutrition and I've been working out like 20 to 30 minutes, two to three times a week, which I feel like helped for me, but just know that's not the case at all for everyone. But for me, that looked like was my problem. So yay still hoping to get the tilt table test soon i think they can schedule me now i'm just waiting for someone to call me back but i don't think that's gonna be positive but who knows i could be wrong but i think i think i'm okay here but today we are going thrifting lately i've just i know it's so like superficial but i'm someone who likes clothes and i just didn't really know my style and i feel like now i have a grasp of it so i'm just gonna go and try to thrift some stuff and now that i have more energy i want to like put together cute outfits and stuff which i've always loved doing but when i have low energy i don't have the energy to do that and now i really want to do that so i want to go to play-dohs and i'm going to sell my old clothes and hopefully find some new ones but that wasn't my original plans for today my original kind of a little rant here not a rant though just like some information that you should consider so today i was planning on sewing some more to be pads and whatever but i could feel myself starting to get tired because for the past like two weeks every single day minus maybe like one or two days when we went out to go buy stuff for the house i've been working on some sort of work so like either my etsy or youtube i've been either making all of that or editing or filming for like the past two three weeks straight and i haven't had any days to like just take for myself and i could feel myself starting to get tired but I'm like oh I can still go but I'm forcing myself to take a break because I don't want to get to the point where you're burnt out because then the recovery time coming back from that will be longer with whatever you are doing if you feel yourself starting to get burnt out take some time learn to understand those feelings and what you can do to help prevent that from happening I know it's not possible for everybody but make sure you pay attention to your mental and physical health as much as you can and do what's best for it and it may not be ideal but it is what's best for you so for me today that is force myself to not work on Etsy stuff or YouTube stuff besides filming we'll get back to it when I'm feeling up for it I'm gonna go to the bathroom take some sofa in, and we're gonna head out lately my symptoms have been chest pain headache and nausea which the first two I usually never have but lately almost every single day I've had a headache and I've had chest pain don't know where it's coming from whatever we're just gonna go with the flow took some Tylenol lately my nausea has been flaring up a little bit too so I've been taking Zofra in the past couple days if you saw the last vlog TMI still feeling very full down there um I messed with my doctor last Friday and and he never responded back. I don't know whether to wait, follow up with him, or just wait until my appointment with him a week from today. I don't know, cause like a week seems so long to continue feeling this uncomfortable, but also I don't want to be like a burden. I don't know, I might just message him. You know what, I'm gonna message him and just be like, hey, just wondering if you saw my message. Don't feel this way. Hope all is well. Okay, bye. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you said I Baby, going into it, I'm thinking that's gonna be out of both of us. So we can talk about it now. It's just Okay, I'm all done at Play-Doh's. My arm hurts from holding all of the clothes that I tried on. Oh my gosh. But I got a ton of clothes and I only paid $11 because they took, I think, like $86 worth of clothes, which is amazing because most of my clothes are thrifted or I bought them heavily discounted to begin with. So very good. I, I love that. So now I'm going to go take all of this stuff to Goodwill. This is just old house stuff that we are not using. So I'm going to bring that to Goodwill and then the rest of my clothes that didn't sell and then i'll probably pop in there to see if they have any um little house decor items as well it is 12 30 now and i just finished in goodwill and i got some more clothes i didn't try them on so i hope they fit but they're just kind of like basic so i think they will and then i got a vase and then two cork boards actually um i thought they might look cute i'm not sure but and i looked it up and there's two more thrift stores one of them i think i've been to before and the other one i haven't but they're like small one-off thrift stores so i'm gonna head there see if they have anything for the house because they might then i'm going home i'm pretty nauseous right now i drank water before i went into goodwill to you know set, try to stay hydrated but i literally just feel like the water just mm. hoping we are okay might have some gum and then we are good let's go What'd you get? 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 Okay, we're gonna show you a haul down. Okay, so first thing I got is this one. It's so cute. And then also, I got two of these. Oh, it's and I so cute. I thought they could be used for like 
for like decoration on the shelves and put like flowers in it or something. But I just love the color. And these were a dollar, so I got two. There were two of them, so I got both. From Goodwill, I got this thing. Oh, cute. That was two dollars. Wow. I didn't and know they had that stuff. These are each two dollars. Cork. And then from another thrift store, I thought this would look Whoa. cute. Whoa. This would look cute on my floating shelf in my room. Is this from Goodwill? No, it's from the Hope Chest. And I thought it would go perfectly in my room. And then this little thing. Oh. From the same spot. Oh, and then I just got this because I'm always looking for like little dishes when I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. The last thing I got from there was this thing. That's so cute. And I thought it could either be on the floor or some. If we and we can hang it up. Hang it up because it has this and we could put like flowers or something. Yeah. I thought that was so cute. How much was that? It was $5. That's it? But they gave me, I signed up for their loyalty program. Oh, they got you good. So huh? this was 50% off, so it was two fifty. Hi, it's Friday and it's about 9.30, I think. But this morning so far, I just worked out and then I got ready for the day. Put on makeup and an outfit because I felt like it. But right now, I'm just going to film a little thrift haul for TikTok. And I thought I would also just film the try on clips for this video as well. So you can see what the clothes look like on that I got. We don't know this is temporary. Maybe we'll last to January. The lost control when you call me, baby. Go down the road, you know you're coming with me. But I'll chase rainy days. Oh, I decorating i think i stopped mid-sentence while we were in the car but we were debating right. yeah because we were debating on whether or not we wanted to go to at home at home but we didn't decide we didn't go we'll just look for a rug online and then we came home and we were so tired so we kind of just ate and rested and now we're gonna start decorating so cute time lapse decoration i feel safe to look up on your face we both know this is temporary Maybe we'll last to February I lost control when you call me, baby If I go down this road, you know you're coming with me X-ray. I've been trying to get a hold of my doctor for over a week now and I can't get a hold of him and I just want an x-ray to see if I'm constipated and need to try another laxative. I know this is, wow, nice pimple. Um, I know this is TMI, but in my last vlog I was talking about it and I still didn't get a hold of my doctor. Um, and it's to the point now where it's just becoming like super uncomfortable and I feel like there's a lot of gas trapped in there too. 
and this is like worse than my usual stuff and I've tried the magnesium I've tried enemas on top of my already medication and I don't want to add another flaxative if there's nothing in there and it's just gas or something getting blocked so I just don't want to do unnecessary things so that's why I want to get confirmation with an x-ray but I cannot get a hold of them and it's just getting super uncomfortable so I found an urgent care that has an x-ray I'm like you know what I'll just I'll just go there get one real quick and see what's up I'm gonna go, go away. now it was pouring rain thundering storming whatever the x-ray showed that i have stool in there so i'm like kind of constipated he suggested a bunch of the other colon med but i've tried all of those so he said half a bottle of magnesium citrate so that is what i'm gonna try tomorrow to see if i can get that out and get things low in hopefully so tonight i'm just gonna run hydration because he said that it can deplete you of water so i'm gonna run hydration tonight so that way i'm ready tomorrow and then i had to go pick it up tomorrow too because it was storming so bad so we didn't feel like running to walmart to go get it because we got soaked just from running to the car and then tonight i think we're gonna chill because it's almost i think it's like eight o'clock so we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night and then tomorrow do a couple more decorating things like hanging up curtains and probably ordering some more of the big things that we need like rug and i feel like there's something else but yeah so see you tomorrow unless we do something interesting tonight good morning it's sunday it's like it's Sunday morning at like 8.30 and we are Going we are working on hanging up the curtain rods and we're gonna do that first. The pharmacy doesn't open up until 10. What? Mag citrate isn't a prescription medication, but I do have a prescription to pick up, so don't wanna have to go back. So we're just gonna work on some house stuff while we wait and then we'll go pick that up and start the fun process of that. the couch so we're gonna go look at it later and see but it's from Facebook marketplace we are getting a couch so we found a couch and love seat on Facebook marketplace and it's only 250 for both of them so yay they have a little bit of stain but we can try to get it out hopefully get it out but it's fine we don't need it to be perfect because we don't want to buy a whole another couch but we're gonna pick it up tonight we have to go get a u-haul obviously because we can't fit it in our car or my parents van but we got that all situated and they live close to us so it's not that big of a deal oh and we decided we don't like the curtains and we're gonna find something else update we're gonna go look at the couch first to make sure it's okay so we're gonna go there around 12 and then we'll go to walmart on the way home um but we tried hanging up our other curtain rods and they're too short by like four inches. So now we have to return three curtain rods. Today, we thought we were gonna hang curtain rods and the curtains, but now we have done that. That's okay, so I'm just repackaging up the curtain rods and I don't know what we're gonna do next. Okay, we're not getting the couch. It's a little bit dirtier than we expected but we're lucky they were so nice and let us come look at it beforehand. They did a really cute cat though. That was the highlight. A like, deaf cute cat. Uh, yeah, the cat was deaf, but it was all white and it was so cute. And it just came and sniffed us and we got it, so Did yeah. you get videos so you can like put in? Yeah, I did. Oh, I'll yeah. insert it like over, but. Insert footage. Yeah. Um, but now we're gonna stop at Walmart so I can get my prescription and my magnesium citrate. Yay. magnesium citrate and I'm flushing it through the G because I don't know if it needs to be absorbed with certain stomach juices or whatever but that way I at least don't have to taste it which is nice so he said to start out with only half so I poured half in here and we're gonna try this I am genuinely so terrified and this is still a lot of liquid I took Zofran because I've been nauseous already today we're not at a good start oh I also don't worry I did not take my lids yesterday because I was worried that would be too much so this is just just magnet citrate today we're gonna see how this works. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna have to push this slow. It's like burning. <laughs> so I'm doing about 150 mLs, and then if nothing happens, then I'll do the rest. Got some of these, which might help the nausea. about 
30 mLs left. Okay, let's just try pushing the rest so I can get it over. Okay, now we're gonna flush. Okay, she's in. And now we wait. I'm gonna try to walk around for a bit to get it moving. Hopefully the nausea doesn't get too bad. I'll come back with an update because I know that's what you're all gonna be waiting for. A little over one hour update. I still have not gone. It does say it can take between a half hour and six hours. So I guess we'll wait and see how long it takes. But the nausea has gotten so much better now, which is good. And I'm just gonna wait. And I don't know at what point, like if I don't go, if I should take the other half. Half. like I don't want to do too much but I also don't want it to not work and then I wait too long and then like I try to do the other half and then the same thing happens so I might give myself like another hour and a half two hours and then if it doesn't work then maybe I'll take the other dose. It's at the two hour mark now and I just decided to push two more ounces so I have like seven of the ten ounces in me right now because it's been two hours. I know like my digestion is slow. maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know but I, my intestines weren't even like rumbling yet there was like no movement like my gi system shut down she was not moving so i was like what do i do so i pushed two more ounces because you're technically supposed to have the whole thing i don't know did i mess up i guess we'll find out and then i think another hour hour and a half if i still don't go and there's still no like rumblings going on i'll just push the rest because i guess that's what i need i don't know i don't know what to do i never know what to do i don't know I'm filming a 6.30 update. Not that you all want to know this information, but I would just thought, I just thought I would share. I ended up taking the whole bottle because things were just not moving. About five hours in, I ended up going a little bit, but it was honestly the same as me taking Linza's. So I feel the exact same. I don't know like what's going on. Like I still don't know if I'm like constipated now at the end of that or if I just feel bloated for some reason. I... <sighs> I don't know and like I really hope that's the case because I don't want to think about what it means when magnesium citrate doesn't even work on my colon like that it kind of scares me a little bit if I'm gonna be honest because it's just because that means my colon is slow my last medication that has been working for me for so long is starting to stop working for my colon it really scares me so I, I don't know and I really hope this means I'm not starting to like not tolerate my formula because like I've been so nauseous and like I try I really try not to take Zofran because Zofran constipates me even more but I've just been so nauseous and so bloated and so full and so uncomfortable but I've had more energy from the formula and it's just like I don't even know and I just I was doing so well I just don't want it to become not going well anymore I don't know I'm just hoping I'm hoping for the best. We're just gonna stop trying to panic and I see my GI doctor this week and we're just gonna see what, what's happening. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because it's, yeah, like I said, it's like 6.30. I don't really have any plans for the rest of the night. We did end up finding a rug on Amazon. We ordered that. We bought new curtain rods and we bought new curtain. Um, We just bought one set right now to see if we like it and then if we like it, then we'll buy more for the rest of the house because we have four more curtains that we need like four more curtains and curtain rods and my mom might come over and we might do a puzzle but it's like storming really bad right now so if it lightens up then she'll come over but if she doesn't then i'll probably just edit for a little bit so that's the end of the vlog <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget don't forget to give this video a like a comment and to subscribe for new videos every saturday and i hope to see you in my next video bye